Now in the past, if I wanted to draw something a little abstract, uh, let's say with Bezier curves, I'd be out of luck. I'd have to go into Photoshop, maybe save it as a PNG and then add it in here. No need to do that anymore. I can do that just by selecting on this little pin tool right here and I can click a point, then click another one and drag it out to make a curve. And then click another point and drag that out to make a curve in any direction just as I would in Photoshop. So let's say I want to make a nice little wave kind of look here. I can just go back and forth and back and forth. And that is my path which shows up over here. Now you might be thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could change the width or change the color of that? Well, actually you can. So let's go over here to this drawing and we can see that for the Bezier path element, I have a line color element. So let's change that to say green, just to make it obvious. And for line width, let's make that big and bold and call that 25. So I'm not saying you'd actually want that to show up, but you can imagine a use for it. And that might be something very cool. Here, let's uh, go maybe make that uh, 35 border radius. Not convinced I've got the correct one chosen, but you can see you can now do some fun things with Bezier curves in ProPresenter 6.